are in Nelson County for the second day looking for clues to solve the disappearance of Crystal Rogers. Rogers has not been seen or heard from since 2015 when her car was found off Bluegrass Parkway in Bardstown with her possessions like her purse and cell phone still inside. LEX 18 Sophia Millar is in Bardstown with tonight's Big Story at 5. A checkpoint controls traffic in and out of the street where the FBI has set up shop. This is the second day agents are in the Woodlawn Springs subdivision, searching multiple properties connected to Crystal Rogers' ex-boyfriend, Brooke Houck. The Bardstown mother of five went missing on July 3, 2015. Houck was the last person to see Rogers alive. He's the only person ever named a suspect in the case, but has never been charged and maintains his innocence. The FBI took charge of the investigation a year ago. On Tuesday, agents used drone cameras, ground scanners, and cadaver dogs to search three properties Houck built around the time Rogers disappeared. One neighbor who asked to remain anonymous tells me that he's happy to see some developments in this case that has haunted this community for more than six years now. He says that he hopes this will bring the Rogers family the answers they've been waiting for. It makes you wonder what's going on. Yeah, I hope they solve everything. I, I feel sorry for the whole family, especially their mother. Officials are keeping media away from the area, but they did take us down the street for a brief look at operations. Tents are set up around the properties. An evidence collection unit and mobile command center are also parked there. In Nelson County, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.